Hello, my fellow comrades. It's Soldier Dude Gaming here, and welcome to the American Dream Simulator. <laughs> now, nah, welcome to American Truck Simulator. This game I had my eyes on for a very, very long time, and I just love this game. There's just something about it that's just I just love so much. But uh, but yeah, we got American Truck Simulator here, so uh. I just really hope that this is going to be a really good series on the channel. I hope, uh, I hope you guys will like this because, again, this is a this is going to be a very different game than all the other games I've been playing on the channel. Um, and those other games being consisting of this. I looked at American Truck Simulator. I was like, you know what? We got to get some variety in the channel. So, boom, and here we are. And. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, we're not gonna play. We're gonna play without mods. <laughs> I just, I just, every single series I've made on this channel, whether it be Voxel Turf, Brick Rigs, well, Brick is only fun with mods, uh, Unturned, which I barely made even a series. I made two episodes, and I was just, I just stopped. Um, what else? Voxel Turf, Unturned. Um, what else is it? I can't remember, but all my series that I've made are with mods, period. And so I was like, okay, we gotta get some just some variety in here and just let's not play with any mods. But anyway, here we are. So we gotta go ahead and create an account. Uh extra profiles I'm guessing because I've already gone here. This is my <laughs> what's strange is that this dude looks almost exactly like me. But without a beard, more like a mustache, but he looks literally just like 10 years older than me, which is scary. <laughs> so, new profile. Now, hmm. I'm trying to think, like, um, what would be the most, oh god, <laughs> what would be the most American looking dude out of all of here? Uh, I don't know, I might just go with my same dude from last time for no real reason just because it looks exactly like <laughs> okay then that's a very weird picture <laughs> there's some weird pictures in here i tell you very very what the what the oh, i'm trying to find where's my photo at where's my my guy that i had selected it's somewhere near the top Oh, there he is, of course, because right there. For truck design. You know I like myself a... Mm. What's more American, a Kenworth or a Peterbilt? Because I love, I love these style of trucks where it's just like the flat, no, uh, flat nose on the top, like in the front. I just love that. I think... I think I like Peterbilt. I think that's the one I like most. Company logo. I'll just... I don't know why, but this just reminded me of the G.I. Joe logo. I don't know why that reminded me of it. Uh, got some pretty interesting logos. Uh, we got an eagle, of course, because America. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of what our things should be. I want to go for this. I like that. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the Captain America shield as well. Uh, language... Company name. Uh, hmm. I don't know how to, how to spell. <laughs> oh my god, I need to go back to freaking grammar school. I guess so. <laughs> uh,. I think, I think we're set to go. Hold on. So we should do gaming. Now I know which one it is. All right, and create. Oh boy. Select control method. Drive using the keyboard to look around the world with the mouse. The simplest but the least precise form of control available to anyone. Use the mouse for more sensitive steering. Now, I originally uh, used the mouse steering, but I just found it a little too hard, or just, I just didn't really like it, mainly just because, um, I just, 
whenever I was looking around in the cab, whenever you let go of the right mouse, it just locked in that position. So I had to, I had to make sure I was hitting the, I was uh, getting the right button, not the left, so that way I would veer my truck off the road or something. So I just went back to the good old keyboard, just like everyone else. Well, the majority of everyone else. And <laughs> and then this is like the uh, the gearbox type. <laughs> like the, the simple automatic. It's just like a wooden toy truck. <laughs> okay then. Um, eight shifter. That's like for the. Uh, God, the music actually pretty darn loud. I'm gonna get close to the mic so you guys can hear me. Um. Yeah, eight shifters like for people that have like the uh, the steering wheels and like uh, the stuff like that you can hook up to your PC, which is pretty darn cool. Um, real automatic. Yeah, you know what? I think this is the one that I did. Real automatic because I'm a scrub. Uh, sorry, break. Steering, you shift by shift, move forward. All right, let's finally get on the road, shall we? Alright, so now what we gotta do is we need to select the city where we want to start and where we want to set up our first headquarters. Now, this is a little hard because, okay, so I only have just the base game, I have no DLCs. I really want to get New Mexico, so I was already born and raised. Love that state. Uh, this state, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> the only desert, the snows. But, um... Hmm, I'm, I'm trying to think, like, I, I want to go in a city that's just in the middle, like maybe Las Vegas. Uh, don't want to go in California because, um, gas yeah! prices. I think, they, I think the last one that I did was in Flagstaff, I think just because that's hardly close to, like, where I like, I live, like, down here, like, in the southeast, but that's, like, <laughs> I just chose Flagstaff. I don't know why. Um, I want to be in the middle so I can get to, like, destinations, I guess, quick, sort of. Yeah, and you know what? Let's go for Sin City. Sin City. It's a great place to start off. Alright, do you want to walk through the tutorial? Yes, for content's sake. Alright. And here we are in Sin City. Welcome to American Truck Simulator. At last, you have the chance to experience your dream job, dream job, and living the ultimate American dream, driving a truck. Your own transportation company is now open for business, but sadly, you lack the money to buy a truck. For now, you'll have to work for other companies as a driver for hire. Your task is to safely deliver a load of home accessories to Walbert Dock in Los Angeles. Los, in Las Vegas, not Los Angeles. <laughs> the traffic in that place is horrendous, and so is the crime rate. Your employer has provided you with a vehicle and will cover all expenses. Don't let anyone down and arrive on time. Oh, just a little bit of a loading screen there. We, we load it in and then we, there's just like, oh, we gotta process this real quick. And here we are, our own truck. Yeah, this is a uh, yeah, this is a Peterbilt with, with a sleeper cab. You can see the mattress back there. All right, so press E to start the engine. You can use the following keys to move: throttle up, down, left, right, W A S D. Drive forward meters and then stop. Yeah, I've been, I've been playing this game for at least a month, at least. All right, try to views and then press enter enter to continue. So we got. Just the, the first person cam, which is what I usually do, just because it's cool. We got a more of like a third person camera. Uh, I guess a bird's eye view camera, roof camera, lean out camera, bumper camera, drive uh, on wheel camera, and then drive by. Or a cinematic. Pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, cinematic camera. All right. It's time to make a delivery. Use rod advisor to see where you are and where you need to go. Press F1 to look closer. All right, so now we have a, like a GPS and sort of stuff. So we got, it shows us like how fast we're going, uh, what day is it, how long we're gonna get to our destination, uh, like towing stuff if we need to get towed. 
like our car or our truck runs out of gas or something. Um, I just got money, gas, and our, uh, I guess our, uh, sleepiness. Navigation map shows your current position as a blue arrow. If you're on the job, it also shows the shortest route to the destination in red. At the bottom of the page, there's an estimation of the remaining trip time and distance. And you can circle through, or cycle through, different zoom levels by pressing F5 on the button on the screen. Switch to job description page, F6 to continue. So this is our, do our job description page, yeah. So we're hauling 23,000 pounds of home accessories. Destinations, Las Vegas, Wahlberg, expected. So we got four, oh, we got five hours to get to our destination. Otherwise, we'll be late. All right. So diagnostics page. This is like what our damage is. If we got damaged or we got in a car accident. And uh, it's expensive to repair the stuff in this game. Well, it's trying to be realistic after all. It's a simulator. Use mouse cursor to control the root advisor. What? All right, all set, ready to go. Follow the destination towards your destination. Follow the navigation towards your destination. I don't know why I said that. Uh, okay, exit's over there. So you gotta throw in reverse. So, oh, so we're hauling a double trailer. Oh boy, I do not like hauling double trailers. There's just something about it I do not like about hauling them. Oh, okay. Oop. Gotta just try and pull out nice and easy here. Hold on, I got this. Maybe. All right. I'm just pull, pull out. Oh no, we're not hauling a double trailer. Okay, we're just, we're calling uh we're hauling a short one. Okay, hauling a shorty. All right. Yeah, I'm not the best person at. I'm not the best at driving, as you can see. Uh oh, I might clip this right here. Yep, clipped it. <laughs> there goes a the headlight. All right, just reverse out of here, and V is good. Goodbye, Walbert. I'm guessing that's Walmart in this game, because I probably didn't have to do that due to copyright reasons, which makes total sense. Like, seriously. But, um, yeah. This is American Truck Simulator. It's It definitely gets a lot better as you progress, because then you can actually, like, have your own company, and, uh, buy your own truck, your whole, like, your own fleet of trucks and stuff, which is really, really darn cool, not gonna lie. Actually, let's stay in the, uh, right lane, because that's, like, the turning lane, pretty much. We gotta, we gotta obey, uh, speeding, uh, we gotta obey the speed limit, or else, uh, we'll get pulled over by the policia, and, uh, we'll get fined. <laughs> A little over the line there, but we're good. It's a street sweeper, I haven't seen one of those. In my uh, on my other account, driving through. That's an ice cream truck. Yeah, this, is, this game is really darn fun, though. Once, like, for people who love just like relaxing or just driving games, this is definitely a game for them. That and also like Euro Truck Simulator. That's a, it's that's literally just the same thing, but it's in Europe, obviously. Yeah, everyone just, I guess, all of you guys can just kick back and relax and uh, just enjoy the ride. And, uh, maybe criticize my poor driving skills. <laughs> That's returning right here. Probably should have slowed down a little bit before turning. Actually, I don't, I don't want those mirrors in there. I actually just prefer just using the actual mirrors. I'm not sure why. Just trying to be realistic, I'm guessing. It's kind of concerning. I don't even know what I'm doing. All right, approach the entrance gate to the clearance, uh, to get a clearance to bring in the cargo. So we gotta basically just go right here and stop. Press, press the following key to handle the job delivery. Alright, so we could do like all three of these. So we could do where you need it, which is just like precise parking, like, and you'll get a bunch of XP for it. Or you can just do let's play it safe and then just do a, I guess, just a, uh, I don't know how you'd say it, just kind of a more of a lazy approach, I guess you could say. And then there's a sorry, I'm not in a, I'm in a hurry, and just you just skip the whole thing. But we're gonna try and do the more complicated one this time. And we get I don't think we get any more money, but we do get a lot of XP, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, where is it? There it is. Uh, okay, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here by this junk. And then we're just gonna... Throw them in reverse. Might have to go on the curb here for a little bit. This is probably not how real truck drivers would <laughs> park up their cargo, but this is how I'm doing it. Oh! Put the dumpster there. I'm just like reverse jackknifing my truck. Alright, and we'll just pull ahead. And then once this straightens out, we should get a good spot in order to uh, park her up. Reverse. Alright. And then we just... Oh god, this is going well. It's not at all, actually. Hold on. <laughs> I, I can just hear all the angry comments of, like, veterans who've played this game, like, You imbecile! You drive like a freaking toenail! Whatever that's supposed to mean! And... It's just... It's hard. It's hard when you start... When you have zero knowledge of what you should do on the road. I just blocked off the entrance to the back of the freaking shop. Or the store. But... <laughs> yeah, this, this is probably infuriating a lot of people. Probably my parents who are experts of the road. And... <laughs> yeah, this is probably really bad. Alright. We've almost got it, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, we can skip this at any time if we want, but I'm gonna work hard for that XP. Let's make sure we're not, we don't clip this reefer trailer. Alright. Now let's just straighten her out a little bit. And then we'll just reverse, and then we should be good to go. And... Okay, yeah, we're way off. Hold on. We're way off. Let me just go out a little bit. Okay. Oh, we're going to be in, like, in, like, the line. Okay. Oh, that's still bad. Oh, no. I'm going to be here all day just trying to put this short trailer in here. And this, this always works out for me. Like, I'm always really good at parking this up. It's just that, I guess it's just a short trailer and just the, just the angle of how I'm putting it in, I guess it's just making it a little hard. Yeah, I can, it's just the angle, I think. Excuses, excuses, excuses. Uh, almost got it. Okay, I think we might be good here. Set that? Nope. Okay. Oh, no matter what we will. Okay. <laughs> well, we finally did it, ladies and gentlemen. After like, pfft, well, I guess three hundred dollars for that. Actually, I guess that makes sense because we've traveled like not even like a mile down the Las Vegas streets. All right. So now, I'm pretty sure we're gonna just be hired as like a uh, as a driver for hire. This is your headquarters. <laughs> the remains of a headquarters, it looks like. It looks like it just got... It looks like someone just put down a garage inside of a garbage dump. It's a pretty basic garage. <laughs> yeah, no crap. It may not be much, but this is a start. Unfortunately, you haven't got anything to park here yet. So there are no trucks in sight. Once you've earned enough money and bought a truck, you'll be able to move in the world freely and run your own business from here. Good luck. So now... We're gonna have to go to the, uh, the job market and just, yeah, get a good job, I guess. And it doesn't seem to be, wait, hold on, price, hold on. Okay, no, is this literally, this is literally the most expensive job is to, oh, nope, not that, nope, no, ah. All right, I guess we'll just take this job. So we gotta deliver almost 40,000 pounds of stone. 
to... Was that a quarry or something? Construction site? I don't know. Yeah, we gotta go over there, basically. Ah, I'm just readjusting my seat. You guys like that? Get that? Huh? Okay. Let's actually just get on the road, shall we? Oh, we got a double trailer. Uh, I really hate double trailers in this game. I genuinely hate them. So we're in a Mac. I don't know why, but I do not like the way that grill looks. It's just, it's just me being me. I don't know why, but I really don't like the way that grill looks. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so you have new mail. Oh, it's been a while since I've actually gotten mail. Uh, hold on, mail. Brand new Peterbilt truck for sale. We have a certified retailer of Peterbilt trucks. Ooh, we offer a wide selection of different configurations, and we can also perform customizations to accommodate any special wishes. Please visit our showroom in Bakersfield. Pretty sure that's California. Could be wrong. The truck you have always dreamt of might be waiting just behind the door. Best regards, your Peterbilt truck dealer. So Bakersfield. I'm pr I'm pretty sure that's in California. I'm pretty sure, probably wrong, because I'm a moron. I don't know anything about the U.S. states, even though I'm a proud American. I should be concerned about my own intelligence. Uh, I'm going to wait until this traffic kind of clears up here before we pull out. I think we're good now. Yeah, I think we might be good. We should not have to run over any pedestrians. <laughs> Alright, and we are on the road. Now, I think what I'm just going to do... I don't know if you guys really uh, want me to do this, but... I'm just going to record just me going all the way. No, like, no edits or anything. And if you guys just want me to, like, maybe just cut it down. Maybe a little bit to just maybe... Just at least cut it down, like, half. Like, just trying to make it, like, less boring then feel free to let me know down in the comment se section and uh, I'll be perfectly obliged to uh, to grant your wishes good sir and madam all right and we are on the highway Salt Lake City I guess we're turning here all right exit 76a we are good I just really like this game. And honestly, the cities are not like to, to a one-to-one -one scale. Otherwise, this game would be made like... Like... This game would have to recreate the entire United States if they really wanted to like make these cities like to a one-to-one -one scale. Like... They just... Literally, all they do, I think, is just... They just throw in like the more important parts of the city. Like, look at this. That looks beautiful. I don't know why, but I, I love the look of Las Vegas. Sin City. Alright, so if you look at our uh, clock over there, on our GPS, we have 3 hours and 45 minutes until our destination. Now, that isn't actually how long it takes. That's more of just... Those hours are more of just, like, minutes. Kind of. They're like two minutes. Okay, like, oh, we gotta exit. Oh god! Oh god. We're already off to a great start. Haven't even traveled a mile down the highway and I only collided into a freaking Chevy. Yeah, this is gonna go really well. Do we even sustain any damage from that? No, we didn't. I think we just clipped him with the back of our trailer. Oh, we gotta exit right here. Let me just make sure there's no one behind us. Oh, there's a plane. Or next to, like, the Las Vegas airport? Hmm. Alright, so we're turning. Alright. Uh... We might need to fill up on gas here in a bit, but I think we'll be good for now. Wait, what? Wait, what? How did I hit you? How did I hit you? Oh my gosh. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a, I'm a good driver. Don't, don't worry. 
Uh. That was a lie. All I said was just lie. I honestly don't know how I clipped that truck. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how I clipped him. I guess I was going too slow and he was going too fast. All right, I've already lost like a hundred, like 500 bucks because of traffic violations. Great. Just, just great. Little flare truck. I think we're about to go down into one lane here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, looks like it. Uh, I think we're about to go into the left lane. We're gonna wait for this gray car to pass and then we'll merge. Or maybe he's just waiting for us. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and merge. I don't know what I don't know what the buttons for the blinkers are. I'm pretty sure you can change in the settings, but I'm just not using blinkers at all, which is something you do not want to do on the road. Is you always use blinkers, otherwise there's gonna be a traffic accident or something happening. That or also getting pulled over by the police. <laughs> that too. Alright. Just keep on grabbing. It really is beautiful, this game. This one's really darn good on the potato of a PC that I have. I'm not sure if it's with the memory or the graphics card. I'm pretty sure it's the memory, but I guess installing that new memory card to jack squat because hardly changed it at all. I really need some help with that. Because if I can get just any, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's not my graphics card. I'm pretty sure. I highly doubt it. I got some road construction here. So I'm down to one lane. Good. End of road work. We turn it on cruise control too, which is pretty cool. So we can just, if we're going like 60 or something, we can just make it to where you don't have to hold down the W button. Works in real life too. <laughs> yeah, guys, if you turn on, if you hit the cruise control button, you, you don't have to hold down the W button when you're going down the road. But yeah, I can't. If you guys just want to see a more just like edited version of me driving down the highway where I include just interesting parts or just, or you just want me to just record the whole thing and just see what I have to say, what happens on the road. Yeah, just go ahead and feel free to, I don't know what I just did with my mouse there. Yeah, just feel free to just let me know down in the comments. Feedback is always appreciated. Right behind a uh, bus. Whoa. Hey. That was cool. Good. A freaking like US fighter jet just flew by. I didn't know we we're getting an air show. Looks like an F-22 Raptor. Pretty sure that's what it was. Or an F-35. Are F-22 still in service? Maybe? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they are. Could be wrong. And a huge satellite field. That's what I'm just gonna call it now. And, uh, I was gonna say I'm gonna try and pass this bus, but this is a double yellow. We can't pass on a double yellow. That and also if I try and pass, I don't know what is in front of me. Oh, we got more road work, it looks like. Road work ahead, yep. Whoa, okay, that was close. We gotta watch out here. You're literally driving on the yellow here. Alright, I think we're good now. Yeah, we're good. So we're delivering this to where again? To Pioke. P Pioke? Coastline Mining? Yeah, it was right. It was, it was a mining uh, facility. Like a quarry or something. This is up north in Nevada. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful darn game, though. Like, I can run this game, like, fairly darn good. I think it's just because it loads... Uh, it just loads small segments of the map at a time, which is probably the main reason why that. And it's also just, like, a single-player game, and I'm not running any mods. And, of course, mods makes the game slower because it has to process those as well as the actual game. It's like Ravenfield, like, I can play the vanilla at, like, 80 FPS, but
But as soon as I like, I have a configuration that's just mods, the frames freaking crack the bed. It happens in almost any game, really. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and fill up. <laughs> Since I can't use Chevron, they put Chemron. Or is it Chemron? I don't know. Why did I pull into this spot? Am I able to pull out of here? Why did I go over here? Oh my god, 258 for some diesel. Actually, that kind of makes sense because diesel is expensive. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can pull out of here. Okay, yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We got an RV site. Some mobile homes. Hmm. Well, what the heck's going on there? Interesting. I gotta be sure not to, like, um... What is it, rubberneck? Yeah. I gotta be sure not to rubberneck. Because that happened one time. I was driving down the highway in, like, California or something. Like, in L.A. And I was on this exit ramp. And they, apparently they closed down a part of the freeway. And so I looked over. And there was, like, this... I don't know. Maybe it was, like, a winery truck. Or something that, like, snapped in half. And I turned around and I slammed into the concrete divider. And, like, I was totaled. And I was like, um, um, um. And I was, like, saving up a lot of money so I can actually buy my own truck. Because I was still making uh, deliveries to other places. So I literally just all f 4 out of the game. I closed the entire game out, loaded back in. And thankfully, it didn't save where I slammed into the freaking, uh, the divider. So, yeah, I didn't have to pay the consequences for that. And, that, and remember, kids, don't rubberneck. Do not rubberneck. That is one way to cause a bigger accident than what's already, like, gone down on the freeway or wherever you are. Do not rubberneck. I miss New Mexico. Not only the land of enchantment. Ooh. We're turning? Okay. Kind of wish you threw your blinker on a little, a little earlier than just throwing it on as soon as you're about to turn. Then I'd slow down for you, but... Okay. Whatever. Life is on highway. I'm gonna ride it all night long. Man, every time I think of that song, I always think of Cars. Man, I love that movie as a kid. It's a really, really good movie. If you're going my way, I'm gonna drive it all night long. It really is beautiful out here. And I remembered when it snowed in New Mexico. It's crazy. Because, like, New Mexico, down south, it's just all desert. Up north, it's actually just, like, mountains and, like, forest and stuff like that. And, like, it's, it's not all desert. It's kind of like a mix-ish. I don't know. But it, it, believe it or not, it snows. It snows down there, which is kind of a surprising. I missed my turn there, but it's fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is where we have to deliver our thing, but I think it's just down the road. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a very good driver. Got I will admit it. Rust area. We need to take a take a nip. All right, going to town. So we gotta lower our speed limit, or else we'll get in trouble by the fuzz. Let's talk about a blind alley, blind corner. Alright, we're good. I 
think we're almost there. Oh, our destination just popped up on the map. I think when I'm done with this delivery, I think I might just end it off and just... I want to see your guys' comments in the comment section. I just want to see what you guys think about this uh, new series on the channel. See if you guys like it. Coastline mining. Alright, press the following key to handle job delivery. Okay, apparently I can't do that. Uh, where, where should I place it? Alright. And we should be pretty good, I'm pretty sure. Forward a little bit. And that's all she wrote. Alright, so how much do we get for that? Five grand. Not bad. Alright. Oh yeah, we, we can also level up. So we can do long distance. So we can now do long distance uh, stuff, which is pretty cool. Hmm. I'm going to do that, I think. Long distance. So we can get more. So we got like hazardous cargo, high value cargo, fragile cargo, just in time delivery. I don't, I don't do that because I'm not good at that. Um, so just to do long d distance, I think. So then we can do, uh, better stuff, I think. Yeah, we can do a lot more diff different stuff. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of ATS. Uh, if you guys did like this, do be sure to let me know down in the comment section. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Um, maybe just, uh, hit the notifications bell and, uh, yeah, maybe you can subscribe. It'd be really really helpful to my channel and help grow and stuff like that. But anyway, um, that's going to be for this episode and I'll see you guys, uh, I'll see you guys next time. And until then, bye.